in this mass, Mr. and Mrs. Muyanja, thank God for the gift of life, for the performance of their children in the final exams, and seek God's grace in their next levels of life and academics. Agnes Nampera thanks God for the gift of life and her family. She prays for her marriage, children, husband, friends, relatives, and blessings in her job. And so we begin our morning prayers in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lord be with your spirit. Uh, today we have a number of optional memorial, but one of them is the one of Pope Sixtus II. This Pope died on August 6, 258 with four deacons. They were celebrating Mass at the catacombs of St. Callistus. And during that persecution, the order came from Emperor Valerian to have them decapitated when they were celebrating a Mass. I think it was one of the things that shook the Roman Church at that time. And I'm very sure in our modern world, because of social media, it would have done the same. But this pope is also known as a strong reconciler between the churches of North Africa and Rome, a symbol of reconciliation. We come before the altar of God where there's total reconciliation, where there's total forgiveness, and so each one of us in our own way now seek for that mercy and for that forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O oh God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place it in you all our hope of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <coughs> A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when they see, when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. And you shall bind them as a sign upon your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. 
And when the Lord your God brings you into the land which he showed to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you with great and, ex and excellent cities which you did not build, and houses we full of all the good things which you did not fear, and sustains you out which you did not hew, and vineyard and olive trees which you did not plant. And when you eat and are full, then take heed lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall fear the Lord your God. You shall serve and answer by his name. The word of the Lord. The responsorial Psalm, Psalm 18. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength, O oh Lord, my rock, my faultless, my savior. I cry out, praised be the Lord, and see, I am saved from my fall. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. May the, may the goal of my salvation be exalted. The Lord gives great victories to his king and shows merciful love for his anointed. Alleluia, my Alleluia. Savior Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time a man came up to Jesus and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is unepileptic and suffers terribly. For often he falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why would we not cast it out? <coughs> he said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, If your faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Moses began to address the people of Israel. In this translation, it says, Hear, O Israel. In some translation, it talks of, Listen, O Israel. The Lord your God is one Lord. 
and as the one invites them to serve and to love with all that they have, their strength, their mind, and everything. Because Moses knows very well that for the people of Israel, if they remember the wonders that the Lord has done for them, he is an exclusive Yahweh. Everything has to be done as he had planned for them. And the love of God with all their minds, with all their strength, it is again exactly what Jesus in the gospel repeats or repeated. The love of God and the love of neighbor. He says, there's no other commandment greater than that. And so for Moses, he really wanted, knowing that he's not going to enter the promised land, he wanted them to know who Yahweh is, looking at all that he has done for them and how far they have reached. And so the promises of this land that flows with honey, milk and honey, he wants them to know they are getting there not because of their own strength, but because of the strength of God himself. And yet, I think also sometimes, these people, much as they believed, they also would wander away. Moses is reminding them the importance of what would talk of. It has actually covenant fidelity. God has made a covenant with them, and he is more faithful and will remain faithful than the Israelites. And we too, it is actually what we are invited to do, to listen to the voice of God every day of our lives. He's asking me and you this morning, hear, O Israel. Listen, O Israel. In the gospel, here is Jesus giving us this teaching this morning about the healing of the moonstruck boy. The boy who had epileptics, a nervous kind of disease that would throw him into the water, throws him into the fire, and his disciples could not heal that. And so after they failed, Jesus demonstrated to them that their faith is less. You have little faith. You men of little faith. They had the faith. They understood. But the issue was their ability to have sufficient faith and trust in their ability to perform. Jesus is asking them that they should have sufficient faith and a trust. And that's why he tells them, if they have sufficient faith and trust, they can move mountain. Nothing will be impossible to them. How strong is my faith? How much do I trust in my Lord? How much do I trust in my God? Remains the question. Jesus tells us this morning that as, even if it is as literal as a master's seed, we are capable of doing wonders. We pray for ourselves this morning that our little faith may continue to grow. Our ability to trust in the Lord may continue to grow because he has shown us the way that everything is possible with him. The Lord be with you.
brothers, sisters, that these are prayers and our sacrifice this morning may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and good of all His church. And let us pray. Receive, O oh Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your sons who work for boundless charity. May through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with Lift up your heart. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right it is really right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth ends, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowly of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adore us, your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. of faith, when we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Paul, Samogere, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the martyrs of Uganda, and especially St. Denis of Guau, and the saints that we remember today, Pope St. Sixtus II, and all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Maestro, he man with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, Allow be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the Father and the glory of God, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your As a sign of peace, we now wave to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and my sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we now being called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that I should enter under the roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen.
Glorious things are spoken of you, O Virgin Mary, for he who is mighty has done great things for you. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ <coughs> our Lord. Merciful Father, we yeah, humbly beseech your protection against this scourge of coronavirus, coronavirus which has thrown the world into incredible agony and tears. And all those who are at the front line in the research of its origin, cause and cure, so that we may be saved from the storm it is now spreading, enlighten the medical personnel, the leaders and the religious, so that they may respectfully and faithfully take care of us, physically and spiritually. Help us to professionally take care of the sick and to be kind to them, as we also pray for our leaders and all volunteers who are helping to extinguish the fires of this pandemic. Help them to find the right cure and concrete ways of exterminating this scourge. We pray for quick recovery for those who are not either affected or infected. As we confront this challenging ambience, help us to be firm in faith, hope, and love. Give us grace to work for the common good, thus helping each other. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lived and reigned to you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon each one of you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our mass together is ended. Let us remain in the peace of Christ. Amen. Amen.